to my kitchen and my name is Baba Hammond. I am happy to be on your screens tonight. Today we are going to have a discussion. I'm sure you've heard that sugar is poison. Yes, we call it sweet poison. Today we have a gentleman here who is going to use an alternative of sugar, a healthier option, you know, to prepare something healthy, something sumptuous, something delicious. We don't want to miss this. So I ask you to call a friend, call a loved one, and let's educate ourselves. This is welcome to my kitchen, and my name is Baba Hammond. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Welcome back. Yes, so I told you we are using a healthier sweetener for something sumptuous. Hmm. I have a gentleman with me. He's just so funny. I, I, I have to find a way to contain him. And he's called Justice. A very handsome young man. And very hard with him too. That is why welcome to my, my kitchen. You know, they decided to give us some what's that push. The fact that you're taking that initiative to do something better for yourself and for humanity. So yes, you are justice. Justice what? Justice for me. Just as part of the world, and you say you are a woman, yeah. and you say you are not getting the media. Very sure. Very sure. What happened? What happened? Yeah, well, what, what, why are you getting everywhere? Uh, because, <laughs> because of unity, we are going to unite. So we have to segregate ourselves. Mm -hmm. But actually, for our part of, look, I am telling from the TV, we were. Uh, the Ashantis came to colonize us. Mm. So if you don't know, if you have if you've heard of Jessica, mm. it's a town where the Ashantis came to went to take over the town by the river. Alright, so we we'll, we'll, we'll hold on the history, right? We we'll hold on on the history. So you are into honey business. Yes. Well, how how? I mean away from that interest, why did you decide to do organic honey farming and all? Wow, that's my nice. I think it's very right. It's very right. Alright, so like I said, 
this is raw organic honey. I am in to promoting this young man and his brand and the honey. So please, when you go shopping, look for handy honey. If not, please put your number down so we don't forget ourselves. Yes. Yeah. So on social media, Facebook and Twitter is handy honey. Okay. On Instagram is Handy Honey Six. Mm. Yes, and my Handy Honey Six. Handy Honey Six. All right. And my telephone number is zero two zero five four mm -hmm. zero two three four mm -hmm. eight seven six zero five four zero two three four eight seven six. All right. So today we are here with Handy Honey Tiger Nuts. Local rice, right. sesame seed, mixed spices, salt, and coconut. Then I'll be your mind. Yeah, not the year. I mean, yeah. Tiger nut pudding. Tiger nut pudding. It's only the English. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then it's serious, so they are maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so walk us through the preparation. I mean, alright, you walk us through the preparation. Okay. So, what we need. Just like you are fermenting the ingredients, mm -hmm. what we have to do is that we have to wash this very well. Okay. We wash the rice, mm -hmm. then we blend it. Mm -hmm. After blending, we extract the juice mm -hmm. and we leave the chaff. Mm -hmm. The chaff can be used for rice, mm -hmm. cake, anything else. Mm -hmm. Nothing else. Mm -hmm. It is the liquid we want. All right. So, and um, this we stood the tiger nuts overnight, exactly. and it is neatly washed. We we washed it very well. Yeah. The rice was soaked overnight as well. More than six hours. More than six hours, all right. And it's currently washed. So what we're going to do is to get our blender. And then, <coughs> Chef Justice. Chef Justice. Right, over to you. OK. So actually, this is 250 ml container. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take equal ratio of the Nuts and rice. Great. You do this often. Mm -hmm. Once in a while. Once in a while. Do you cook? Yeah. Do, I do. do you really cook? I do. The way you're handling the spoon. <coughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are, right, so so. Are we doing one each or two? I think I'm doing two. So. Alright, so it's good. So, um, how is the how, how do you go about the honey you know the bees keeping them? Oh, wow. I, I can't stand them. I'm so yeah. afraid of them. You yeah. know, actually, in our country, there is so much epiphobia, the fear of bees, and because of that, it doesn't encourage people to venture into bees. Okay. So as far as, far as our fathers were bee hunters, mm -hmm. that is, they go to farm, they see maybe a hive somewhere, mm -hmm. and they take note of it. Mm -hmm. When the moon is no more, mm -hmm. that is when you can't see the moon. Yeah. That is when it's time for harvest to go and kill the bees and kill the hive. Oh. But we are not in support of that. You don't kill. We don't kill. We are not murderers. That <laughs> shall not kill. Yeah. Yeah. So we want to actually give the bees a safe haven mm -hmm. where they can live and thrive okay. at the same time and benefit from them. From them. So it's like we are giving them we are their landlords. Okay. And we are giving them our partner to stay. That's so beautiful. When, it's, when they come to they have to pay rent. Oh, they do? Yes. And By giving you honey. That's right. 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 So uh, tell us, what are the health benefits of honey? Why should I, you know, buy honey instead of any other a plant-based sweetener or even sugar. Wow. We are adding two, right? From yes, one two. I think it should be three. Three. Yes. All right. So you, know, you tell us the benefits. So there are so many benefits of honey. Mm -hmm. In fact, if you have salt truth, mm -hmm. it is very good. Would you get it? Most of the people mix it, you can mix it with ginger. Oh, nice. Yes. Okay. Garlic. Okay. That's okay. right. That's good. In fact, in, in, in Brazil, mm -hmm. in Brazil, mm -hmm. boom. Brazil is the, the whole world where uh, the number one country that participates more in cesarean sections. Mm -hmm. And most of the doctors treat the patients with honey after the, the surgery. After the surgery. Okay. 
So when you make sure that they to clear their marks, good to clear to heal the yeah. healing process. Yes, uh -huh. So instead of using maybe the orthodox drugs, mm -hmm. no, when you make sure that there are no infections there throughout the process, mm -hmm. and they use it, they smell the honey on the surface. I see. So the healing is complete. That's great. And what has we need to know about honey? About honey. Yeah. Oh, in fact, so we start adding it to our um, food. At the moment, just like we mentioned earlier on that, the rate of diabetic mm -hmm. patients and things are going high. Honey is a simple sugar. Okay? It contains fructose. And absorbing fructose into our body is very small, easier than it's normal sugar. That is why we encourage people to take more sugar. To take more honey. Not the honey, but the honey. On oh, that means we'll be right back. Welcome back. And so, you know, Justice has taken us through the health benefits of honey, why he got into honey keeping, why he's doing this. He believes in organic living rights. And today he's here to prepare Tagalas pudding. For us, and he is using honey instead of sugar, the healthy option of tiger nut pudding. Right, so, uh, tiger nut and rice is blended. Right. right, so strain it for us and let's see what we're going to do next. Mm. This reminds me of the times I used to prepare to come out. Sorry, I'm not too. You. <laughs> At home. At home. You don't look like somebody who prepares it. Mm. You pre preparing that was okay, then strain it and let's see if you should do it. And that's when it was this. Oh, I see. Mm. I did. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay. mm. Overdoing. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so I'm going to help you. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so for how long have you been just beekeeping and uh, honey business? For the past four years. So at the moment we have our attachment pudding on fire. 
and you have to make sure that the fire is not so much hot that it's going to make it burn. You will be consistently stirred. You have to stir in one direction. You don't stir this way and come back the other way. Unfortunately, because of my net house spoon, you seem to hear the funny sound of it crying here and there. But you can use a wooden one. Yes. So you're going to continually stir it until you get a brownish color. When it's sticking in, you need to develop some kind of brownish texture. And at that point, you know that you are getting close to the promised land. That's right. Remember to add your spices and your salt. Very important. The spices will increase the flavor. These are natural spices. Give it a unique taste. Powerful one, of course. And you know your salt. The Bible says we are the salt of the world. Make sure you don't end up with. A tad green bamboo, but it's a tad green pudding we want to see. You have to make sure there's enough moisture in it for it to be like cocoa porridge. So at the moment our pudding is already done, you can see how oh, wow, so sexy and wonderful. I wish you can have a taste of it. Welcome back. Justice finally has made it. The tiger nut pudding is ready. And the aroma is something else. It tastes so good. But I'm wondering why didn't you put the honey in it whilst the pudding was on fire? Okay. You know, research has proven that honey has over 180 nutritional benefits. But immediately heat is added to it. It dies off. Completely. I wouldn't say completely, but it loses a lot of oh, nutrition. Okay. So that's, a, that's, that's the reason why you didn't add it on fire. Yes. So now that it's out, and when you're about to eat, that's then right. you can add yes. it. You know, you can see more hot. Yes. It's the hotness is not compared to it being on the stove. Okay. Yes. Right, but I see people adding milk to it. So yes. you are using coconut. That's you're right. You're going to prepare coconut milk. That's right. That's right. Okay, so. We have this coconut already chopped. That's right. Ooh. All right. So we're going to add water. Yes. Please. Are we doing a thick one or? Um, yeah, you very thick. Very thick. I'm adding the. That's right. Yeah, and I'm mixing. So. Yeah. All right. So, so I get those then. Yes. Please. Okay. All right. Let me make you then. Not just about that, yes. but other things Very as well. Coming in and also going into 
to good health. Yes. All right. So, and um, this is something you don't need to throw away. Very true. You can prepare your rice with it. Right. You can even bake your bread with it. Right. You can add it to your porridge. This is high in fiber. Right. And so, if you want more fiber in your food, this is added yes. benefits, right? You can even pour it in a bowl. So our coconut milk, our tiger nut pudding, which was made out of soaked tiger nut, soaked local rice, you can use brown rice if you want to, and spices, mixed spices, yes, is ready. And salt. I can't, and salt. Honestly, the aroma is, is, and I can tell it's going to be very delicious. So, um, we are going to do justice to it as we are going to eat. And I have this beautiful lady here, and she's going to join us. She's going to be our judge. If justice, we get an uncle here, Jemima will say it. Please come, come join us. Very beautiful, Jemima. Hi. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for coming. So, this is welcome to my kitchen. And uh, you know, we cook healthy in the healthy way. And so, today we had Justice with us. He is in Tokoni. So, we decided to, you know, ask him to come. Let him come and show us some of the things we can use honey to do, the health benefits of honey. And more importantly, encourage people to go get handy honey. Let's push our brother. Let's do it the healthy way. And so he has taken us to the preparation of Italian nut pudding. I want to honest that the Ampuya has something to say. So, um. Whoa. Prepared by justice? Yes, prepared by justice from scratch. Yeah, yeah. So, um, justice said it's healthier adding honey your meal when it's out of fire. Okay. And so I don't know how much honey you want in yours, so this is um, a spoon you can add mm -hmm. as much as you want and then your coconut milk as well instead of um, two spoons to me. Oh. Hey, what do we all do? Oh yes. That's a spoon. It's nothing. Mm -hmm. mm. That's a sweetie. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, I can add yeah. to it. Um, I'll surely add more. Sorry, okay, so just as said, we should, we can add sesame seeds to it. And they said we we'll get lots of um, vitamins mm -hmm. and minerals. Mm -hmm. So, um, is one teaspoon okay or more? One teaspoon. I think this will also save us in the placement of granules. This is the placement of granules. I need is two slices of bread and I'm good to go. 
Because of my eyes. Very nice. True me to it. I've done this a number of times. And this is in this month. Really? Today is the second. Second. Since last month. Mm -hmm. And this is the best so far. Wow. Really? Yes. Powerful. What's the secret? The secret is everything is very good. The pudding is delicious. The crazy. Mm, it's very nice. I haven't tried this before. I haven't added coconut milk to my pudding. Neither have I attempted adding any seed or nuts. But just as has given me the cream. And I encourage you to do this. You can feed your children with this, you know. When they come from school and you just pour some from the fridge. And it's a healthy option for a healthy snack for our children. So we've come to the end of today's episode. I want to say a big thank you to you, Justice. Thank you so much for coming. And I implore you, you want real organic honey, please contact Justice. Or you can even contact him through as welcome to my kitchen. And we'll be happy to link you up when you be delivered. So as we come your way next Saturday at 7 30. This is welcome to my kitchen and my name is Papa Hammond. Bye for now.